yeah. Get out my way, I need space to get the fake up. Get out my way, I need space, I'm about to take off. Get out my way, yeah, the frequency yeah. been way up, way up. Get out my way, it's too easy, it's a layup. Yeah. Hey guys, what's, what's up? up? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Brandon. And I'm Kayla. And we are The, the Brown, Brown Family. Family. And y'all, we got another good one for y'all today. Yes, we do, yes, we do. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And y'all do it right now. Just to make sure you stay up to date on all future videos. And of course, to make sure you're down with the brown. Down with the brown. Down with the brown. Hey, hey. Down with the brown. Down with the brown. <laughs> <laughs> so today in our video, we want to update you guys on our home renovation. Brandon shared a photo on social media today of the before and after pictures guys and we could not be happier with how this has turned out right posted it on social media we got a lot of positive feedback uh, we showed everything uh, the, the new furniture the walls being yep. painted the TV was mounted yep. just everything you'll see the before and after and we're just really happy and ready to tackle the next room now yeah so y'all let us know if you team Kayla a team brand and I know Kayla wants to work on certain projects in the house I want to work on the man cave so y'all drop down below and let us know if you team Kayla a team brand you I'm feel me y'all be team Kayla because it's the winter circle over here always and forever it doesn't matter what it is I stay kicking Brandon's butt I know my guys got my back so <laughs> I'm not even worried so about that We'll see. You a winner too, because otherwise we'll I wouldn't have had you. We win together, but okay. when it comes to this, team Brandon, <laughs> team Brandon all day, y'all let me know. He on team Kayla too, he just don't want to tell y'all right now, right babe? Mm -hmm. you know? Anyway, anyway, um, so we have asked you guys for questions. Um, oh, babe, 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 before we go any further, we have to thank them. Oh yes, yeah, so we do have to thank y'all. We want to thank y'all because we finally hit 1,000 subscribers. Woo! Hey, so we're going to do our welcome song again because now y'all yes. are down with the brown. Oh. Down with the brown. Yes. Down with the brown. Down with the brown. Down with the brown. Hey. <laughs> y'all be down with the browns. So let's let them know what we're doing today. So um, today we ask also on social media for some questions and we got some. So we're gonna be doing like a Q&A. We just wanna let you guys know a little bit more about who we are and kind of open up to you guys so um, you guys can know us. So you can be part of our family. Right, right? why not? All right, so y'all, the first question, I remember it before I even go to my questions. First thing, the first thing you should know about me is that I'm a planner. Um, it's happened to me in my older years, like my college years, not so much, but I'm 30 now and I am a major planner. Like I need to know what I'm doing ahead of time, ahead of time. So anyway, I got these questions, but I remember the first one off the top of my head and that question that we get from everyone is, are you guys going to have another baby and when? Um... <laughs> So listen, it's funny because like it depends on the day you ask me. If we weren't in quarantine right now, my answer to that question would probably be yes. But since I've been home with a four-year-old and a one-year-old for almost two weeks, all day, every day, no school, no visitation anywhere, no go on a play date here, no nothing, my answer to that is probably like, mm -mm, don't even be asking me that right now. Yeah, well, I feel like one week she would say yes, and I would be like, no, yeah. and then the next yeah. week, vice versa. <laughs> like, she'll be on, I'll be off, yeah. and it's like, we were never really on the same page. Like, both yeah. of us didn't want it at the same time. The short answer to this question is, we are undecided about if we're gonna have another baby or not. The possibilities are endless, yeah. right, babe? Yeah, I think so. And I mean, I feel like it's possible. possible. I feel Any, like it's possible. Anything is possible, y'all. You never so. know. There are going to be <laughs> a lot of know. quarantine babies coming out at yeah. the end of the year. You never know. Year, so you we may be in that number. You never know. You never know. So, yeah. All right, so let's move on. Possibly, y'all, we don't know yet. Possibly. Possibly. I sent you the questions to babe, so if you want, you can pick. So the next question would be, 
goals for the future. Goals for the future. Um, so oh, it's crazy, man. Brandon and I do a lot of things. Like we have a business. I work in the pharmaceutical industry. Brandon has a contract with the company, and we've really grown to love YouTube. So it's really hard to say what our goals are. We have things. We are big. Like I said, I'm a planner. So we have like milestones that we want to reach. Um, but as far as like our business, of course, we want to grow that. Um, I want to grow in my career. I'm doing great at it right now and everything's going wonderfully for me there. Brandon's doing great with his contract and our business is just blossoming. And we can't thank you guys enough for that. Like, oh man, it's we feel so blessed yeah. to, um, to be in the situation that we're in right now. And um, as far as the future, we want to grow each aspect of our lives and we also want to grow um, spiritually and emotionally and in our relationship as well. So, you know, we feel like the possibilities are limitless and we are so excited about the future, y'all. Like, yeah. can't wait. Absolutely. I mean, with me, I feel the same way. I feel like we have so many different things that we do want to accomplish in our lifetime. So to kind of put it in a box would kind of be hard for me because there are so many things that we individually want to do and so many things that we want to do as a unit. And I mean, we already have a couple of things going on right now, but we want to continue. We, we really don't want to put a cap on anything. So yeah. Each year in our marriage, we had something going on. Like the first year we were pregnant, the second year we were buying a house, the third year we were pregnant. Again, the fourth and fifth year we've been like renovating our home. I was having the baby in our fourth year of marriage, our second baby in our fourth year of marriage. So each year we've just been in this growth phase. Like we're, we're just adding on to, to what we had. And this year we were like, no major announcements this year. We're gonna renovate this house and we're just gonna build on what we already have and that's kind of why leading back into our first question is kind of why we're kind of on the fence about the baby coming because we just want to just expand what we've already done so that's our goals for the future like expansion growth favor of god love in our marriage love for our children we're just growing right now, so yeah. we appreciate the question. Good question, but multiple streams of income is definitely it's important. Always the goal. Like always. We're working towards all of that, mm -hmm. making money while we're sleeping. Yep, that's always the plan. That's always the goal. All right, so um, guys, the next question. <laughs> oh, this is, this is funny. Have y'all ever broken up? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, so in our marriage, in our marriage, no. and not in our marriage, no. In our marriage, no. But twice. Yeah. One time I broke up with Brandon, and one time he broke up with me when we were dating. Yeah, we were dating. And uh, one time we didn't go talk about because I don't even want to get mad sitting in front of this camera again. But uh, the one time that Brandon broke up with me. <laughs> He thought he was about to leave me, y'all. He crazier than he looked. <laughs> he thought he was about to leave me. I'll make a long story short. It was because <laughs> I felt like I wasn't being perverse oh in God. this situation. So I told Kayla she was going to have to make a decision. Decision made. You see where he at? Yeah. So that okay. decision was made very quick. <laughs> very quickly. I mean, I, I'm not ashamed. I was like, no, you ain't leaving me. So we got a lot of other questions, but this is gonna be our last one because we don't want this video to get too long. So it's not really a question, it just says story time. So I'm gonna take the lead on this one. And y'all, my favorite story, well not my favorite, like the one that really comes to mind out of all the stories that Brandon and I have is from our third honeymoon, I think. Uh, we were going to um, Jamaica and we were flying from Birmingham. So we were flying from Birmingham to Atlanta and then to Jamaica. We had a great time. Show a picture, babe, of us having a great time in Jamaica. But anyway, uh, while we were getting off this plane, there was this lady who was needing assistance in the airport. She was sitting in this little wheelchair and she'd been sitting there for a while. And so Brandon being the man that he is, which is one of the major things that I love about him, he's so selfless and so always thoughtful of other people, he wanted to help this lady. And so 
he was like, ma'am, do you need help? And she was like, see, yes, like she didn't speak English. And so Brandon was like, okay, I'll help you. So he starts wheeling her down the um, the plane, like the, what is the that called? The terminal. terminal. He starts wheeling her down the terminal. And so we get to the airport lobby, like right when we're about to get off the terminal. And the ground was uneven. And so... <laughs> The lady, like, it, when he when he pushed her off, y'all, the poor lady, like, went flying, and she was trying to catch her balance, and I called her, like, it was, <laughs> it was, it was terrible. It was not <laughs> So, it was just a little bit more info on this. <laughs> we were, like, I was pushing her up the terminal, but, you know, in the terminal, like, I, I don't know if it's like all of them, but in that particular terminal, it was like a slope, so it went up a little bit. And I was trying to get her over, like, you know, like each, every couple of feet, there's like a little, a little oh dip. Oh, and when I was trying to go over, she went up like this. And she had her hands out because she was trying to stop herself from like hitting the ground. But I mean, I was trying to help. Nobody else on the plane was trying to help her. She was just sitting there on the plane by herself. So I was trying to help her. And then like later on when we got out, we had walked around. I think we went the wrong way. We turned back and went the other way. And we saw her like sitting over with there, like everybody else. So she was okay then, but I thought she had family or somebody that was gonna like come get her. So Y'all, I wanna be clear. I'm in no way laughing that this person who needed help ended up out of her chair. We called her like she didn't hurt herself at all. Yeah, she didn't hurt but herself. But I'm weak because Brandon's face was Priceless. Because moment. like when I'm in a situation, if I know something's happening for like like two or three seconds, I try to find a way to fix it. So I was going to try to, you know, get down there in time and help her before she fell, but she didn't fall. She just kind of went forward like this. Yeah. So yeah, she she caught her. She didn't hit the ground. So but it was wrong. hilarious that you know in the midst of him trying to help her, that happened. But he was he he did it with good intentions, and I don't laugh like I said because. She almost fell out of her chair. I laughed because his face was priceless. <laughs> oh my God, his face was priceless, y'all. So we still laugh about that today. We had a great time in Jamaica, one of our favorite places to visit. Um, we plan on possibly going back someday. Yeah. Um, we'll show y'all some of the pictures from that, but all in all, that's our story time. Check back in with us for more story time, so we'll finish up this Q&A in a different video. Yeah, I think we'll come back and do a part two to this yeah. Q&A. Yeah. Just, uh, if y'all have any more questions y'all wanna ask us, some more intense questions or fun questions or whatever, just make sure you drop them down below or inbox us and let us know and we'll make sure we get to those. Yes, we'll be glad to answer. So y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. And lastly, y'all, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe. We're gonna be dropping some more videos. I don't wanna promise y'all anything, but we're gonna be dropping more videos. We have as a much as we can. Yeah, why, because? Yeah, because I mean, we're not shooting weddings right now. Yeah. So we do have Thanks extra COVID. free time. So yeah. we're at the house and we're working on things. We'll try to drop as many videos as we possibly we can. Yep, so, yeah. we will. All right, thank y'all for watching and for being. Down with the brown. Down with the brown. Down with the brown. Down with the brown. Yeah. Get out my way. I need space to get the fake up. Get out my way. I need space. I'm about to take up. Get out my way. Yeah, the frequency been way up. Way